so now understanding that understanding all these frustrations with people we all all of us we have our own individual flaws yeah. and uh you know our strengths and our weaknesses um but how how do you i don't want to say what are your weaknesses but i i'm curious about how you deal with them um i think that's why getting, having a good team that's my thing um getting put surround yourself with the right people people that balance you yeah. out so i might not be, i'm not a great um uh, administrator i'm i, I would say i'm my strength is even more, be a little bit more creative mm. but i've been forced into being yeah. the business person so because of that i'm now like okay no i need to s- surround myself with better business people mm. than me yeah. and then also surround myself with younger creatives so i stay um in tune with what's going on yeah. um so that's like my own strategy where i know like okay you know what? i'm not the best at this 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 i know where my thing is i'm like i'll tell sometimes i'll tell people that um any our coo she's a executor like you just put the task on it on the table and she runs yeah. and gets it done so sometimes i don't even tell her if you're not sure yeah that you want this to be done so my thing is now like I make I can I can visualize I can plan, I can be creative I can strategize I could, I can put the, the the play together, I will be the coach but I need people that would actually the, the, yeah. go and actually get these things done. So that's and that's been one of my biggest frustrations is that knowing that okay I have limitations but now finding the right people to put around yeah. me to be able to bolster um, our performance in general and everything is it has been has been a bit tough I, like I, we had a because again p- people grow um people want to go do their own thing and everything like that again and it's again again so i try to find people that are the, our visions are in line like okay the higher i go up in doing this doing this thing the higher you go up too yeah and it's a, it's mutually beneficial and then maybe do more partnerships with these people and everything so we know that everybody is not like you're um you're being paid to build somebody else's yeah. empire or dream or stuff like that so it's i it those are those are the two things that i i, I would look at like, apart from that um i would say maybe with with the other weakness per se is maybe like it's funding mm. um because i think that's i think our market isn't properly yeah. funded and everything i don't think it's a thing that i s- struggle on my own and it's then it's just about us trying to create value you know yeah. i I've, i've found that where ever to find money you don't chase money you create value yeah and the money money will come yeah. and everything so it's now trying to actually create that value or show people that value in yeah. what it is that um we are doing in this business and everything the conversation around funding and value i feel like we've gotten and i say this cautiously we've gotten so used to mediocre work that just getting by right now and you see this mm-hmm. across not just in yep. the music industry from the guy who parks your car who's paid as security in a space you know a, a thank you is not enough he needs extra yeah. cash yeah. to the guy who sits in you know a government power state or where you're simply going to get something as simple as a passport and it What's turns into an extortion yeah um and i feel like we are in a w- it's almost as if we're stuck in this cycle where there are just a few people who are asking questions yeah and i and i w- i've been wondering for the last year or so how how do we get more people into the system because that's what i initially started training people because to get the more right people. i was trying to get the right people to hire yeah right i remember the first experiment i did she stayed with me for a while and you know when when she had to leave and get a better job i, I was like i couldn't compete with yeah, with yeah. what it was but i was so proud of the growth cuz i was I kept hiring people and it was just stress, stressful. stressful. So I decided to hire <laughs> someone who knew nothing about the industry, nothing. And then she would see artists and she'd be asking me who's <laughs> who's oh, wow. this person. Sometimes it was a bit frustrating, but it gave me an opportunity to say okay, this is a 
this is a blank, blank canvas canvas and, and you can, know i can teach her yeah by the time she was done you know she she was a little more um she was a lot more confident about her abilities to deal with issues and so i'm in my head i'm thinking how do we get to the point where there are more voices there are more it's we have to have enough people who are asking questions as people who are not asking at all and the reason why things have been the way they are is because most people are not asking questions so when you show up or i show up and ask questions we're enemies yeah you know so how do we get more of these guys in i think um I think it's, it's, it'll be, it'll be for, for me, unfortunately, I feel it's like it depends on how successful people like you and I are. Mm. Um, because I think the higher that we go and the more people see that these guys that are always um, asking the right questions or doing the, are towing the right line yeah. are actually succeeding. Yeah. They're growing, they're moving forward. Then hopefully we get, to, we would start a, like in the way you, like somebody, somebody said that, you can tell somebody that went to Godwin's program. That's it. That's already a trademark. Like, yeah. like if you, you sit down in the room with the person and you hear them, you can say that. And I was like, yeah, that shows that he's a good teacher. Yeah. So it's now like there's a, there's a we're already the process is already there. Yeah. And everything. And then I speak to people sometimes that say, oh, I like the way you do business, where you're about the business. You're not in this thing there's no there's no scandal and blah 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 and everything and they commend that and they're like oh i want to be in that line so i think that's where um it's going to come from that's how we're going to do it 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 has to be through leadership and and inspiring the the next set of people like us yeah and i think um even from from me just even from where i'm from from potaco and everything seeing that seeing how far i've gone I go back there and I see there are more people that want to reference me as a example yeah. when they're like, oh, but this guy from Port Harcourt did it now. So why can't I? And he did it this way. And this is what he did. And like, so I, I hear that a lot. So I, I so that's because, again, it's just with, like with Nigeria, that the few good people that are doing the right thing yeah. that nobody gets to, to talk about, to talk about it or to see. So, and I think it's basically then our responsibility to make sure that we are out there, we are being seen, yeah. we are being talked about. And I know for, for you, you've, as you said, you said the past four years, you've spent, made sure you've made that effort. Yeah. And for me, it's still a, I'm still. It is a struggle. Yeah. It is a struggle. If I remember I was in, I was in SA for a series of meetings and my assistant kept telling me, I'm looking at your calendar take pictures <laughs> right? she's like look at all the people you're meeting and i was like i don't know i did it with i think i did it with ryan and um what was the name of the guy at share um i can't remember i did it with two or three people but it just it was it's not me you know not, what yeah. i mean and, and it, it got really stressful because after a serious meeting i'm not like let's yeah, take, take a picture, picture. It, like, was, it was off. Not, yeah so like so i didn't it didn't, it didn't really i think i think for me what I then learned to do, and I remember saying this with Osage and, and Isa, was just if I'm in an environment where people are taking picture and I know somebody, I'm like, I'll tell my assistant, tell the person that they should take a picture. Yeah. But it should be candid pictures, right? I'm doing something. I'm not going to stop and pose yeah. for a so picture. Another person, you mentioned mention her name, Osage, someone like her, with all the work that she does, she's still not yeah. forward-facing as much as I feel like she should be. Yeah. One as for, for women in the industry like she's been at with his manager she's been yeah. she's been there timaya's manager for how long now the, all the artists she's brought the work she's doing with one rpm the artist she's, artist she's developing like um good girl la yeah and the, just the the consistency yeah. that she's shown and the the i'm sure there's nobody in this industry that people, like i don't have a clean reputation somebody who has something bad to say yeah. about me that's how the business is yeah. I, I think somebody's whether you didn't smile at them one day yeah. and yeah they feel like oh that one is proud like something like that but she would what she's done and to stay as staying free even someone like asa asa is very visible because of i think back then in the days he was a promoter and yeah. everything so he's quite visible and everything but there are a lot of people that are not that are doing it right that are not being seen yeah um and i think it's we need to work on that i think that yeah. that would really help 
create the next generation of or oh, because like if the only people they are seeing are the ones that are being dragged yeah. on Insta blog Ninja for or one artist Wahala or one thing or the it's only the bad news out yeah. there. They, they then they cast the that negative um connotation on, on all of us. Like, yeah. oh, these are the managers and music people are. Because a lot of people still um that I found don't really even take the business I went on a, on, a, on a business show on a radio station and they were asking me, is it possible that they could, they, an artist could be in debt 40 million naira? I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like, what do you think we're, what kind of business do you think we're, we're doing? <laughs> do you think we're, it's like, we're like, ah, 40 million, that's so much money. I'm like, that, that can be, like, you can spend 40 million on an album, on one yeah. album. And so, and then I don't know what they, what that, that label or artist, what they spent on. But, on yeah. But, but that's not, that's, that's not, that's yeah. not, yeah. So there but, are businesses that are owing a billion. Yeah. Nobody's asking them questions. Yeah.